please excuse my voice. I have been a little sick, but the bus work must go on. Don't worry, I took a couple days off to rest. This is just, you know, a little bit of a remaining. Don't worry about it, we're okay. Today we're gonna be cleaning up all these surfaces and then we're gonna be starting off on our ceiling of woodwork. I bought this really expensive product. It's called Safe Coat Polyurethane. You don't love me. and foam pad applicators. All right, here we go. You have the most raspy voice ever. I got a raspy voice. I can't get it off. Struggle. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, wow. It's milky, bro. A <laughs> Little bit of an update for you. We've got the back bedroom first coat done and it looks kind of splotchy while it's drying. It's uh, warming up in here and looking good and I think it's gonna look great once we're done uh, two or three coats. Right, Nate? Yeah. So we beat the sunset, just barely. Good job, Nate. Thanks. As it's drying, it kind of looks like crap. <laughs> but hopefully it'll look great in the morning. The days are short. But we're done. Number one. Oh, I need a nap. Nate, the good news is I did one coat while you were gone. The bad news is we gotta do one more. <laughs> All right. But you already knew that because I told him beforehand. Here's a little bit of a preview about how this is looking so far. A nice gentle satin sheen to it, which is what we're going for. The coverage isn't great, but I think with the third coat it's gonna be perfect. But the issue that we have is that showing up later on the second coat are some drips that really this stuff is so tough that it's it's not really sanding down. Let me show you with the flashlight so you know I'm not just making things up. So like that, see that? That's like a pad mark where a little bit too much sat. We're just gonna try and go a little bit slower for our last coat and try and avoid that. So three coats of sealer has been done and I want to talk to you about the reason we went with this very expensive product is that we used birch plywood that is made with formaldehyde in the adhesive that holds the veneers together and <laughs> um, we use tons of it. We use it everywhere and we have an exposed plywood edge as our finished edge. Most of the off-gassing, so formaldehyde will off-gas volatile organic compounds for like 10 years and there's no stopping that from happening. Um, but you can slow it down extremely such that it's not really a concern for you or your family. And um, one way to do that is to edge band everything. It's to put that little veneer plywood edge and glue it to every single edge. But we're not doing that. We're doing this exposed plywood look. So we need something to really seal in that formaldehyde so that it will not off gas quickly. Now, one other thing about the off-gassing, it's kind of like uh, the bottom of a bell curve. Once the stuff is pressed and delivered to like a lumber yard, it starts, it's off-gassing the most. And then over the years, it's off-gassing less and less and less and less. You can speed up that off-gassing by like kind of baking the plywood. So what we did is we bought all of our plywood before we went on our little summer vacation. And so for pretty much the whole month of August, this bus was like 100 degrees just baking all month and that plywood was off-gassing so hopefully mo a ton of off-gassing happened then now this this product seals in formaldehyde and that's great but it did it at a pretty big cost oh the other thing is that um, you can buy formaldehyde sealer 
like from this company. It's not a finished product. It's sort of just like a first step. But I wanted to just do one step. So I went with this polyurethane, which is it's a low VOC water-based polyurethane. And it's made for high traffic areas. So you could put this on a floor and it would be just as strong as a normal water-based or an oil-based polyurethane. So that being said, this whole bucket, and we used like, so far we've used like three and a half gallons. We're probably gonna need more because we've got other weird things to build. It costs $500. That's tons of money. We, you could probably get a similar product for half as much if you didn't have to do that formaldehyde ceiling plywood thing that we had to do. All right, I've been talking for three minutes, but I still have lots to say. Now we use these foam applicator pads from Home Depot. I've done a lot of painting, but I've never used these before. <laughs> They were okay, but I don't know if they're the best thing out there. I would check at your local paint supply store, like Sherwin-Williams and Benjamin Moore, if you're gonna do something similar, and see if they, uh, stop it, and they, see if they have um, something way better. This stuff just like, <laughs> this stuff holds too much of it in that foam pad, and it just very drippy. Now, we wanted a satin sheen. This is still drying, so it's, a little bit blotchy, but after three coats, this stuff has a great satin sheen. It does show, like, in some areas, like I tried to show you earlier. So you really need to do three light coats. Five minutes later, I think that's all I have to say about that. And just like that, our sealing, sealing days was over. <laughs> you don't